Uh, live right here. <laughs> 42. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, That's fine. Wait, wait, come up so everyone can hear your question. What's the meaning of life? Wait, 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 and, wait, wait, and, and how old are you? How old are you? So wait, you have to tell everyone then, because I, I, if I repeated it, you'd think I'm lying. Okay, go. Six and three quarters? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Love those fractions. Yes, get yeah, people going. Okay, if you're asking those questions now, you'll be the deepest thinking adult there ever was. So, so what is the meaning of life? I think people ask that question on the assumption that meaning is something you can look for and then, oh, I found it. Here's the meaning, here's what it is. I've been looking for it, okay? And it doesn't consider the possibility that maybe meaning in life is something that you create, you manufacture for yourself and for others. And so when I think of meaning in life, I ask, uh, have I learned something today that I didn't know yesterday? Bringing me a little closer to knowing all that can be known in the universe. Just a little closer. However far away all the knowledge sits, I'm a little closer. If I live a day and I don't know a little more that day than the day before, I think I wasted that day. So the people who at the end of the school year say, this summer I don't have to think anymore. I'm thinking, what is, the, what, what, <laughs> what, the, to learn is to become closer to nature, and to learn how things work gives you power to influence events, gives you power to help people who may need it, power to help yourselves, to shape a trajectory. So when I think of what is the meaning of life, to me, that's not an eternal, unanswerable question. To me, that is in arm's reach of me every day. And so for you, at age six and three quarters, <laughs> I, may I suggest that for you, you should explore nature as much as you possibly can. And occasionally that means getting your clothes dirty because you might want to jump into puddles and your parents don't want you to do that. <laughs> you tell them that I gave you permission to jump into puddles. Okay? It, it, you know what else? You know what else? <laughs> so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll give you more permission for more things. You ready? Okay. Um, have you ever pulled all the pots and pans out of the cabinet before and hit them with the wooden spoon? Have you done that yet? Have you done that? In a way. He said, in a way. And what, what, did, what did your parents say when you, when you did that? Well, I did it with paper plates, but... Oh, you did it with paper plates. That's not nearly as fun as doing with the pots and pans, okay? So you have my permission to pull pots and pans out of the cabinets and bang on them with spoons and knives and things. Not knives, spoons. Okay, so, uh, uh, here's the thing. You're, you're still a kid, and, and, and part of being a kid is exploring the world around you. And all, all the way the laws of nature influence that world. So take different pots and pans and hit them with a spoon, and they'll all sound different. They'll sound different with different spoons. Some pans are aluminum, some are steel, some are copper. They'll sound different, and that's kind of a fun experiment. And most parents will say, don't do that, you're getting them dirty. Stop doing that, you're making too much noise. You tell them, then why did you have me in the first place? <laughs> okay? <laughs> no. okay? Because you have to remind them that they didn't have kids so that they could keep having a neat house, okay? <laughs> because kids make things messy. 
And there's a reason why they make things messy, because they're exploring the world around them. And so you have my permission. Now, if you get in trouble, uh, I'm not going to be around. I'm not going to be back. <laughs> but we have witnesses here, right? Okay. So your meaning in life will be enhanced if you're given as much freedom as you can to explore the world. Then when you get older, you will become so close to how the world works that when a problem arises that needs a solution, you will say, I know how to solve that. I've been thinking about that before. And I've been thinking about that ever since I was banging the pans on the kitchen floor, or ever since I jumped with two feet into a puddle, or ever since I walked up and down and caught snowflakes in my mouth as I walked down the street. Did you do that today when it snowed? When was the last time you caught snowflakes in your mouth? Like a few weeks ago. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask a grown-up that same question, okay? <laughs> when was the last time you caught snowflakes in your mouth? I don't remember. <laughs> you see the problem here, okay? The grown-ups have forgotten how to embrace nature, how to think about the natural world. So, you will owe it to yourself and everyone else who will be cured by some medicine you may invent one day. You owe it to yourself and to everyone else to continue to stay curious. And by doing so, you will have created the meaning in life that others think is waiting under a rock for them one day, and you would have made it happen all on your own. So thanks for your question.